Hi, my name is Chris Galliardi. I am the Scientific Education Content Manager of the American Council on Exercise. And I'm also an ACE certified personal trainer, group fitness instructor, health coach, and medical exercise specialist. In this video, I will be talking about a principle of exercise training known as reversibility. The principle of reversibility suggests that any improvement in physical fitness due to physical activity is entirely reversible with the discontinuation of the training program. In other words, when it comes to physical fitness, we must use it or we will lose it. If we use our muscles, they can increase in size and strength relatively quickly, regardless of our age. But if we don't use them, they will become smaller and weaker. In fact, an age-sponsored research study set out to investigate just how quickly fitness fades. The research revealed that after completing a 13-week training program, if physical activity is stopped, then all training adaptations will be completely lost within one month. Perhaps you have experienced the principle of reversibility yourself or can imagine how frustrating this would be for a client. You work so hard to improve your health and fitness and then all the benefits you achieved could be lost after not exercising for a month. This can be devastating and disheartening. At the same time, this reinforces the importance of physical activity as a component of a healthy lifestyle, rather than as a short-term process for attaining a temporary objective. It is our role as health coaches and exercise professionals to not only support clients to get moving, but also to help clients to develop skills, uncover the motivation, and to develop the self-efficacy to keep moving for the long term. So, how can we help? While not all lapses in training can be avoided, especially if they are the result of injury or illness, there is much we can do to support our clients in staying on the right track or help them to find their way back to the path they were on. Here are three steps you can follow using the ACE Mover method to reassure your clients that even though lapses in training may occur, with proper planning, you can minimize the effects of detraining and move forward. Step one, ask powerful open-ended questions. You can use open-ended questions to find out more from your client about what led to the setback in their training. After asking a powerful question, be sure to use active listening skills and remember to respond without judgment. This is the time to be curious and to listen to your clients who are the experts on themselves and should be viewed as being resourceful and capable of change. Some questions you might initially ask include, what events took place that led you to stop training? What differences have you noticed in the way you feel now that you are not exercising? What barriers got in the way of your physical activity plan? Or how important is it for you to get back on track with your physical activity goals? Step two, break down barriers. This involves asking more questions to discover what potential barriers may get in the way of sticking with an exercise plan. The answers to these questions can help to establish a game plan for the next time goal-threatening situations occur. Some questions you might ask at this point include, what will you do differently the next time you face similar barriers? What other barriers to exercise do you anticipate? And what do you need to start doing now to get back on track? Step three, collaborate on next steps. This final step includes summarizing what was learned in steps one and two, and then letting the client decide how they would like to move forward. In this step, allow the client to lead the discussion and take care to ensure a SMART goal and next steps are established. Questions you can ask here include, what will you do? How would you like to move forward? And what is one thing you can start doing today to get back on track? Setbacks can't always be avoided, but many of the barriers that get in the way of consistently achieving our goals can be planned for. It is important to remind your clients that doing something is better than doing nothing when it comes to being physically active. Even if you can't do your planned activity for the day, you can still be active. Work together with your clients to develop strategies to remain active even during inevitable program breaks. Thank you for watching.